Welcome to Section 4 of College 101. In this section, you will learn about registration. We will cover the following topics. My NCTC, adding classes, reading a schedule, and the Canvas portal. My NCTC is where all your important information is housed, such as your grades, transcripts, degree audit, and demographic information. This is also where you will go to accept your financial aid, view your schedule, and add and drop classes. To access My NCTC, you will need a username and password, which will be issued to you by the admissions office when you apply. Please be aware that all your demographic information is located on My NCTC. It's important that all your information in this section is correct and up to date. This is the information NCTC uses to contact you. If you ever need to change your contact information, you will need to fill out what's called a record maintenance form in the admissions office. You will use my NCTC predominantly to register for your classes and to check your final grades. You will also go to my NCTC to access your student email, aka your Lion Pride email. Your email address is your net ID, the username from the admissions office, at student.nctc.edu. Your password is your student ID number, which you will also receive from the admissions office. You should activate your student email as soon as possible to start receiving important information and reminders from NCTC. You can activate your Lion Pride email by clicking on the Lion Pride email link 24 hours after enrolling or registering for classes. Your Lion Pride email will also be the professional medium to use when communicating with your professors outside of class. It's important that you become familiar with MyNCTC. To help you do this, we have created a MyNCTC user guide, which will provide you with step-by-step -step directions on registration. You can find this guide on our NCTC homepage by searching MyNCTC user guide and clicking on the document from July 2016, or you can find it in a link at the bottom of your MyNCTC student services page. It provides answers to the most frequently asked questions and also contains visuals to help you. So, if you are unsure of how to get started with MyNCTC, be sure to check this out. Below is a sample of a student's fall schedule taken from MyNCTC. If we read the first line from left to right, we will first come across the course ID, which in this case is Math 0310. Next is the section number, 410, followed by the course title, Intermediate Algebra. Under Days, you'll notice MWF. NCTC abbreviates days as follows. M is for Monday, T is for Tuesday, W is for Wednesday, R is for Thursday, F is for Friday, and S is for Saturday. In this case, Math 0310 meets Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 8.50 a.m. For the room number, the first three letters represent the campus. For example, COR equals Corinth. Next to the campus and room number, you will usually find the instructor's last name, followed by his or her first initial. However, for courses that have not yet been assigned a specific instructor, you will see the name staff listed. Finally, you can see that this course is worth three credit hours. Here's a helpful tip for you. The credit hour value of each course is always indicated by the second digit in the course number and represents the number of hours each week that class will meet as well as the number of hours the course is worth towards graduation requirements for your degree. For example, English 1301 with a 3 in the second place indicates that the course is a 3 credit hour course which meets for 3 hours a week in a regular semester, fall or spring and is worth three hours towards the minimum 60 hours required for an associate's degree. Fall and spring classes generally meet in one of the following ways. One hour each on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, listed as MWF in the schedule of classes. One and a half hours each on both Tuesdays and Thursdays, listed as TR in the schedule of classes, or Mondays and Wednesdays, MW three hours at a time for a once a week afternoon, evening, or Saturday class, 
distance education or online classes that have no scheduled classroom time, hybrid classes that have one classroom meeting a week, and online course material. Students often try to take either Monday-Wednesday classes or Tuesday-Thursday classes to limit coming to class every day of the week. Coming to school for two days a week sounds great until you realize that going full-time means you will be sitting still for six hours a day. So, think about your attention span. How long are you able to sit still? How well can you focus for long periods of time without interaction? If possible, try to include breaks in your schedule. This will give you an opportunity to do homework, seek tutoring, or grab a bite to eat. Canvas is NCTC's portal for online classes. Even if you don't have an online class, a lot of instructors still use Canvas to house their homework assignments or current grade postings. You will find a link to Canvas from NCTC's homepage at nctc.edu. You can also access Canvas by going directly to the following website, nctc.instructure.com. Please get familiar with Canvas and note that Canvas is a separate website from MyNCTC. This concludes Section 4.